Ladies and gentlemen, cadets, I can't think of a better place in Houston for the mayor to be right this minute than at this graduation. This is where I wanted to be, Chief Finner. This is something that Houstonians want us to come together and recognize these cadets. And before I do, I think it's only proper to recognize the council members that are here. It means they support HPD and law enforcement. Councilmember Huffman, Ramirez, Alcorn, Cayman, and Peck, would y'all please rise? Right. Thank y'all. I've been in public office over 50 years. I was a young state representative in 1972. 10 years in the House, 40 in the Senate before I ran for mayor this past year. Chief, I've had the pleasure of working with many organizations, many professions. I could, I could spend the morning listing, even the Farm Bureau in rural Texas, our firemen, teachers, labor. I could go on the people as a public official I've worked with, but none have been more rewarding than my relationship with law enforcement, specifically Houston Police Department. You see, I don't stand before you just as a mayor. I've already said this is where I belong, as mayor. But I stand before you as a friend of Houston Police Department. It started back in the early 70s after I got elected at 22 years of age. What do you think my high school friends were doing coming out of Oak Forest Garden Oaks? What do you think they did back in 1968 if they didn't want to go to college? Some went off to college and came back. They started inviting me to ride with them as HPD officers. I learned from them. As a young state representative, my secretary for the first eight years was Delinda Holland. Her husband, Richard Holland, who became ultimately the captain of homicide, was a rookie police officer when she went to work for me. Officers, cadets, I got to see the strain that the job put them under. Eight years as a patrolman, then he became a sergeant, then a captain in homicide. I would see Delinda, my secretary, come in late in the morning because she waited up for her officer husband to get home at 2 and 4 in the morning. I've seen the walk to walk, and I've also seen the tragedies. Tim Hearn, a classmate of mine, HPD, went off to UT and came back, wanted to join HPD, and we thought, you just got a degree in accounting. I want to be an HBD officer. As Dana said, it's a calling. You know it's a calling. The families know it's a calling. One of the worst calls I've ever gotten in my life was four in the morning in 1976. Tim, narcotics officer, tragedy, shot on Harrisburg at the old Sears parking lot, bled to death. One of the worst calls I've ever gotten, actually from another HPD high school friend, Joe Mesa. So I know what we're facing today, and that's why I wanted to be here. I want to thank the families. I know how proud you are, and you've done one heck of a job, mom and dad, grandparents, brothers, sisters, nephews. You ought to be proud this morning. These officers, when I talked to them earlier this morning, I said, you be sure and thank your family, because I know the strain of watching your loved one being willing to put their life on the line. They're doing something that I don't have the courage to do. Most Houstonians do not. That's why we respect you and thank you. On behalf of all Houstonians, I stand before you and say thank you. And I'm also going to urge you to help us recruit additional officers. 76 officers in this cadet class is making a statement Houstonians want a safe Houston. We have a great city, great people, and we're going to address public safety. It's my highest priority. And cadets, I have an open door policy. When you run into issues on the job or in your personal life, I'm your friend and your mayor. With that said, let's go to work. Thank you all.